guys welcome this is unfinished the only place where we get to finish and finished part is stay tuned because today we're talking about something very interesting something that most of you are going to relate to we're talking about relationships which takes us to our first question do you think age should actually be considered when it comes to dating let me know what you think in the comment section age should be a concern because you know why like let's say for example age brackets let's say from maybe a person from 18 to maybe 25 then from 25 to maybe 40 the reasoning and the level of maturity is very different so we'll have to consider maybe a guy from 35 maybe yeah he wants to settle down and a person who reasons well and you can compare a lady from this 19 to 25 maybe the lady just wants to have, to have fun and maybe explore herself no i don't think so because um whether the person is younger or older if you love them you love them uh, so if they're not like too young like too young for you i think it's okay during dating in the preliminary stages age should not be a concern since um age is something personal and you should only disclose it to your future life partner and uh, I don't think it would be necessary in the preliminary stages since dating is a way of finding out who you are suitable with, who you will want to marry in the future. So let's say in the latter stages that's when it will be important. Let's say you'll tell your partner that and by the way um, I'm HIV positive and if we are willing to take this step into life together Yes, you can either accept or uh, deny. Yeah, so that's my take on the issue. Age should it be a concern. No, uh, I think age should be a concern. I don't think I want to date someone who's older than me, personally for me. But I also think if it works, it works. If it works, it works. You can date someone who is older than you, maybe five years, and maybe it works out. Maybe that was your soulmate, maybe. Uh, and sometimes, uh, because of terms of, okay, there comes respect with age and also wisdom, which I think. No. Yeah. Because uh, people generalize uh, that 18 is the mature age, but at some point, we find people are even mature at 13 or 15. It should be a concern. Majorly, Niseme, particularly if uh, it's the man to be younger. We say women, ladies, much go faster. I don't know if that's true, but I think I've observed something of that kind. So if you're dating a 35 year old lady and you're 25, Umekaliwa, that is the thing. Like Umekaliwa completely. You're not the person in the relationship. When you come on Toto, my baby may end up. So, like, uh, if you want a relationship that should be a nice relationship, a 50 50 thing, maybe even a 40, 40 or 40 60, but something close to balanced, something where each and every one of you has a voice in something, or it should be a fact. Yeah. And it will be better if the man is older. I think it depends, like, you know, definitely, like, if some like if there is too big of an age difference there could be like you know you're from different generations so you have like different outlook on life but i think it shouldn't be that big of a concern i know like traditionally like it's recommended that the woman is younger but like i, I don't think it should matter like even if the woman is older bracket what you consider you know if you are dating a, a lady when you call, maybe when you are alone you and five feet below that's okay, but consider ten kwenye that. Who ni mama ko? Who ni mama? Zia zia. Mi kongo. That's not okay. But you ni preference. I'm going to be me. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yes, it should. Okay, cause <clears throat> the people like who are eyeing a lot and are judgmental. So if they see you like dating an older person, okay, let's take it uh, like a. Uh, a 16 year old dating somebody is around 25, that should be seen as the, the 25 year old be seen as a pedophile because that girl is under age. And uh, when a girl like is dating an older man, she'll be taken as a whore or like a like she's uh, trying to get money, gold digger from the man or something like that. Yeah, so I think it should be a concern that somebody within the pro proximity of your age. Mm, I think age should be a concern because according to me. There's no way I'm going to date like a young, young, young guy. 
I am not doing that. So age really matters when it comes to dating. <laughs> and also, you can be too old. So age matters. Yes. It should be a concern when dating because uh, some of us young men, we are actually dating elder women than us. Finding ourselves in certain situations that we cannot remove ourselves in. So age is a factor while dating. I don't think you should consider age as a factor when dating because uh, we are raised in different uh, backgrounds and therefore some people are, um, some people mature earlier than others. You might find someone is uh, very young in terms of number but uh, mentally or something like that they are very very mature so yeah age doesn't really matter when you're dating. In my opinion, I do feel like age should actually be considered, but personally, it matters more to me if the person is younger than me, that's a big deal. But if they're older than me, the better, because I prefer someone who is like emotionally mature, emotionally intelligent, and I believe they're done playing games, so that's kind of attractive. Which takes us to our next question. How soon do you think you should introduce your partner to your family? Let me know what you think in the comment section at y 254 and finished. After one year, yeah, because uh, if you introduce them like after one month or two months or three months, they're probably going to just it's probably going to end. Most relationships end before six months, so I would prefer if someone introduces their partner after one year because then you're sure you know them, they know you ish about everything and it's hard to break up after one year. Otherwise you're just going to be introducing people after every three months which is not right. Uh, that one, we shouldn't hurry in such introduction because you may find, for example, to say me after one month, you may date a certain girl, maybe I work out, you know, I introduce. Then the other month, you get another lady who introduce to your parents. So like your parents, there's a perception they'll have that we always settle in a dem. Like like we see, just don't hurry. I don't know three years mukijuana to Vizuri and after three years Mnezamo. Introducing your partner to your parents is a bit of an it's like allowing the, your partner into your family. So I think you need to know each other first, everything about each other, so that you can introduce them to the rest of the family. Introducing them too soon, as I know, can spook your partner, as in maybe your partner has commitment issues and you are moving the relationship too fast and everything. I think as soon as you're sure, the other one. I think, okay, for me, okay, for me, a duration will go maybe two years, two, three years. Uh, when you go to introduce your partner to your parent, it means that you are uh, you are uh, ready, as in you you know that person, and you are ready to to move on or to do to move on. So maybe let me say 20, 23, 25. It depends the the way you are brought up. That differs on people. Personally, I like to. I'd like my parents to know who I'm dating. Kesho Nikiwawa, so they know who to look for. Yeah. So, maybe as long as we start dating, as soon as we start dating, like in a week or two, I'll introduce you to my mom, not long after, to my dad. So, that depends, like, you know, culturally, like in Pakistan, we don't really like do dating, we do like arranged marriages. So, like, my parents don't necessarily like know, but like, that's not because like my intentions are bad. Like, you know, once I'm like financially settled, maybe I'll introduce them, but. I think like if it's like acceptable in your culture you should introduce like as soon as you can if you're serious. If you guys are sure you're in love and you're sure that that is the person you've chosen for the rest of your life, I think three months is standard. If you guys are sure. If you're not sure, I mean six months. But three months is kind of like a Halloween or Halloween honeymoon period. So like more than three after three months if you guys still feel the same way you felt at the beginning of the relationship. I think you guys should proceed and tell your parents about it. As for me now for my party time zoo. Nowadays I don't trust relationships. They don't last. You you don't they don't last. maybe after a year, maybe a year or two. A year and a half or two because when I was introduced okay. When I was introduced after three months, then I'll be break up.
unaotapata mingine your friends will be like kwani you are not you are not stable mama so kwa video tuna i prefer one to two years if you guys like are dating and you see that uh, this is like the one or like you have a very strong connection uh, the, you know, the time span does it matter people can connect within like a month some can connect within a year or two and uh, when you guys connect you can introduce them to your parents and actually i think like when you're dating somebody you should just actually introduce them to your parents so that they can know that you're dating someone i think it should be like 9 10 12 months yeah maximum seven like i have to be sure that this is the guy that i'm going to have a future with in the square like me some honeymoon phase and then i have already introduced it to my parents then to my achana naambia nini i was supposed to tell them that lisha ivo so i think it is seven to twelve months after you've known your partner for some time you've known the character you've known how your partner does uh, you're sure that hata kuacha now you can introduce to the to the parents i think that's very personal someone should introduce their partner to their family and friends whenever they are comfortable with introducing them if someone is not comfortable with introducing the partner to the parents or the friends it's fine depends on your own uh, preference I would say a period of like one to two years would be enough for you to get to know your partner, understand them and realize that they're the ones that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Because I do not expect you to be taking your situation sheets and talking stages to your parents. By the time you are come to Nyumbani, you know that this is the one. Let's take a short break, we'll be back with two more questions.